Madam Speaker, in accordance with Standing Order Number 491, I move that the bill be taken through all its stages forthwith. I should indicate that uh, this bill and a number of others that are being introduced, they were all prepared uh, between the Attorney General's Ministry and the Director of Public Prosecution. The urgency is that there is some case before the CCJ, which is to be finalized next week. And the Director of Public Prosecutions has indicated that the court wishes to see that there is legislation that we would have passed to deal with the matter in a certain way. The Attorney General assures me that he sent copies of the bill to the Leader of the Opposition and sought his understanding as to why uh, we needed to proceed urgently. And he also tells me that that understanding he believes was secured from the Leader of the Opposition. I was about to stand up to, to, to inform the Honorable House that the, this is one time that the government and the Attorney General in this case um, did speak with me okay. and explain the urgency in trying to get this done through this um, sitting okay. between today and tomorrow. I, um, and then he shared with me the bills. What I did, I, I passed the bills to, to members of my party, to the lawyers, with the exception of um, Senator Courtney, who is involved in this case, so he wanted to stay out of it. Um, and yes, we, we did agree that we are not going to object. And I want to put in record that it is one time that the government did give us the bill for us to be able to have ample time to, to, um, okay. to study the bills. Thank you.